Hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. So Solana obviously could not hold here the 105 US dollar level, a very important support level. We had here these two lines in red between 105 and yeah, 106 dollars and 50, showing a um, yeah a zone of resistance or support. If you look at it from the other way, it was looking like Solana was retesting successfully here the support level and was starting to move up. Very interesting though, it got rejected here and. That is actually an interesting observation also for me that Solana, because on yellow here, what you can see, that is the one year moving average. So Solana seems to be reacting also similar to Bitcoin to the one year moving average. It had resistance here, 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 and here. And it had um, resistance here as well and here. Yeah, very accurately here actually. Um, then also here back in March. So, and also here on the way four. So it's actually quite an interesting observation no sorry that was not um <clears throat> that was not that's just a line here that i'm going to take out no but it recently respected the um to the one year moving average and here it had support by the way back in january so that is quite an interesting observation that we need to consider going forward as well um didn't really have it on the radar too much the one year moving average for solana but um could be an explanation why we found resistance here well the other explanation would be that we of course found resistance because we had a swing low here anyway and a bit of a um, area of trade here and we had support here so there is some stuff going on there um but yeah in the end when after it broke and successfully actually retested the um support level it moved up and could not make a higher high so it only made a lower high now i showed you back then here already this bearish engulfing candle now Back then, obviously, and this shows how difficult it is. Back then, this sh this looked like, um, <clears throat> of course, bearish engulfing <clears throat> is generally quite bearish. Normally starts or can start a downtrend, yeah? So it's a, also a bearish reversal pattern. So you'd had that, but you retested this support, the previous swing high, successfully. So you have to assume it's holding, but it just shows maybe this was just the beginning of, um, of a new downtrend, yeah? So... Again, therefore, stops, if you do short-term trading, stops are so important. And of course, not every trade works out. Um, therefore, stops are so important, especially in the current environment in which we don't have a sustainable uptrend yet. Yeah, we don't have a confirmed uptrend yet. And therefore, the downside potential is still so much there. And um, Solana is holding currently, again, above the 61.8% FIP level here at $100. So there you go. Pretty much just in a range here. And um, yes, someone asked me why Bitcoin has a bearish wave count while other cryptos have a bullish wave count. Well, in the end, a lot of altcoins actually don't really have, well, they sort of have a sort of bullish wave count, but I've, I've told you many times that obviously in this whole move down, I told you continuously, we are going down, 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 because we hadn't reached the target area yet. Here now, as you can see, we are in an area and period where we've been moving sideways pretty much since end of January. So we are pretty much in a space where the market now needs to decide, is the downtrend already over? Now, I can't tell you that. What I could tell you is that with the highest probability, we are going to land in the target area, which we did. Yeah, we've been talking about that for months and that here the price has a good chance to turn around. Now, as you can see, there is still much more space to the downside and the market here obviously can move all the way down to 55 or even $30 for Solana. So it's not really necessarily super bullish it is bullish um in a sense that if you zoom out a little bit the next wave up will be going obviously above the wave one above the all-time high in my opinion that should be a wave three that should take us to 400 dollars and above but first the correction needs to be finished so we don't have a confirmation yet that the correction is finished the reason why bitcoin is a bit more bearish is because bitcoin hasn't reached its target area yet so theoretically by applying the Elliott wave rules these cryptos that are more bullish could now theoretically start to move up and they could move to new autumn highs. They could finish their correction. But of course, it is all in a sense related to Bitcoin, um, which, however, doesn't mean it all has to adhere to Bitcoin 100% because these cryptos do not have the same structure as Bitcoin. So they have different wave structures. Also, if we take a look at Terra Luna, which recently made a new all time high, so you can't argue that they are moving with Bitcoin. Of course, if the market is going down, they also have a retracement, but Terra Luna is moving so differently, for example, to Bitcoin, because Bitcoin is, you know, around 50% um, of its all-time high or 40%, whatever, 
um, Terra Luna has recently just made a new all-time high. So you, you, they, are, they are moving differently. They are moving differently. And um, <clears throat> even here, <clears throat> a lot of the altcoins have obviously reached their individual target areas. And here they have a chance to turn around. But as I said, the space is there to move further down. And for Solana and many other cryptos, I told you that the low probably is not yet in, or at least that we're going to dip deeper um, into the target area once more, because also because of the way the price came down here so impulsively, okay? And we're currently just holding here in a range again, below that one year moving average and between the 61.8% FIP level at $100. That is on one hand, of course, support, and Solana could give it another go to the upside if it manages to break above that previous um, yeah, le level of resistance here, the 105 US dollar level. But ideally what you want now, because we've made a new swing high, you now want the price to go above 110 to get some confirmation that we are back in an uptrend. Now, the thing is though, if you take a look at the chart pattern here, it looks very corrective now. So that you could call this an ascending broadening wedge. And this means we need to be careful because this is generally a bearish pattern. So um, of course it can break out to the upside, but it is looking very corrective in light of what we did here. We came down very impulsively. We're now correcting that move down and the next step could be another move down. Now in this pattern here, we could of course move all the way up to yeah, 110 US dollars and get rejected again at the one year moving average. And therefore at the moment, I would not be very attracted to any breakout until we really break out of that pattern here above 110 US dollars. Good, that is my view on Solana. Hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.